In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the settings and functions of the app, assuming you've already checked out the longer video or the series of videos on the premise behind it, because some of this might not make sense unless you've seen that. So to recap the basics, main takes you directly to the story wheels, and you can swipe left and right to move between the paradigms, or use the paradigm button here at the bottom to cycle through the entire stack. Tap on a story wheel to bring up the study guide synopsis for that paradigm, which includes a summarized breakdown of each beat of the story. And the resources button at the bottom provides you with links to the works of each of the authors. Then done always takes you back. Or just tap to return if you're in the synopsis screen. Having the paradigms aligned like this and at your fingertips as you write is valuable in itself. But the cool feature is the timing utility that you can use to see how filmmakers execute these concepts in real time as you watch a movie. You can access the timer through the settings button down here, or just tap anywhere in the counter windows to bring up the settings. Now, enter the runtime of the film. That would be the advertised length in hours and minutes, or you can just enter minutes if that's the way the length is posted. Either way, it does the conversion down here, as you can see as I switch between them. Now what you need to be aware of is that the advertised length of a film always includes the end credits, so you'll need to subtract that time from the total. And if you don't know how long the end credits are, then just use 7 minutes, because that's a pretty good average for a typical film. But if you want to be more precise, then you can go to the Help button down here at the bottom, scroll down to the Settings section, and you'll find a link to a site that includes credit run times, at least for more recent films. And when it comes up, you can search their database up here, or we'll just look at the one that's trending today, the one that comes up on the home screen. And you've got a running time of 144 minutes with eight minutes of credits, pretty close to the average that I mentioned. Done and done takes you back. Now it was posted in minutes, so let's switch it over to minutes and dial in 144 and eight minutes for the credits means that we're evaluating a film that's 136 minutes long. Apply, and that number is carried forward to main. Press start when the film begins, and the clock hand will make one complete revolution in 136 minutes, passing through each beat of the story in correct proportion. You can cycle through the paradigms to compare different theories as you watch the film, and you always have access to the study guide synopsis for each paradigm by tapping on that story wheel and tap again to return. If you're using this tool in a movie theater, you can dim your screen through the normal method by just sliding up the control panel and dial down the brightness that way, or if you need to react quickly, just tap the dimmer switch here on the left, which steps down through three levels of brightness. Notice that the status bar is not included in this function, so a good method is to use the control panel to set the overall brightness, then just punch the dimmer to bring the brightness up and down as needed to avoid disturbing others in the theater. And the last feature we'll talk about is the note entry with timestamps through this button over here. The first step is to add the title of the film up here with new entry, and we'll use the X-Men example since we've already entered the timing data for that film then tap Main to return to the story wheel. Now, each time you tap the notes icon, a new timestamp is entered, and you can record your note for that moment in the timeline. Once again, tap Main to return to the story wheel, and you might notice another interesting turn of events here, so tap the notes icon again, and you've got a new timestamp, and you might say this is where the theme is stated, and whatever specifics that might be. Then tap Main to return, where the clock is still running, and then you might notice that the inciting incident happens early here, or whatever else you'd like to annotate at this moment. We'll call it the ominous knock at the door that launches the story. Return to main, and once the movie is all done and all your notes are taken, tap the notes icon again and process the note here at the top, which really just means send it to yourself as a text or email attachment so you can archive or edit in Word or some other text editor or just delete if you like and your list is clear. Simple and easy and simple functionality all around that unifies and consolidates a mountain of complexity all at your fingertips right here. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to check out the story structure tutorial that will definitely put all this in perspective.